So my name is Fanny Hanono, and I am the secretary. I am the secretary treasurer of Perry Ellis International. I'm also the president of a company called GFX, which is a privately held company which manufactures automatic transmission parts. Both those companies were started by my father. One went public, and the other one was privately held. Um, one manufactures transmission parts overseas. The other one manufactures uh, men's clothing. Um, I work in both companies. Um, the automatic transmission parts is, is truly one of the loves of my life, and I grew up in that one since I'm a little girl. I face a lot more obstacles in that one because that one is a male-dominated industry. So every time I go to an automotive show or something, I'm, there's maybe 10, 15 women there. And actually, when I go to factories overseas to many, where I see that parts being manufactured, they're always shocked to see a woman in, in that industry. Unlike in Perry Ellis, where there's a lot more women in the apparel industry. My father has definitely uh, been my mentor in my life, um, being someone who arrived uh, in 1961 from Cuba, uh, arrived to the United States with nothing, $700 literally in his pocket, a pregnant wife and, and a son, and uh, from nothing started, given amazing opportunities in, this, in, the, in the United States and created so much here and created these businesses and, you know, he's lucky he has his children who want to work with him and um, we both, my brother and I, work with him and We've, we've developed both these businesses. Perry Ellis employs 2,500 people worldwide, and we have uh, GFX, the automotive company, which we sold it, went back into business, and now employs uh, over 25 people. My father's always told me that uh, you have to be a pioneer in the field. You have to be the first one in the field. Um, he's always told me that you have to be open to change because next year there's always going to be change and it's always going to be harder the following year and that you have to give back, always give back to the community and give back to people. So that's the advice he's given me. I think that as a woman I have a lot of different advice than he's given me because my father always had a woman in the house to take care of his kids. Me on the other hand, I'm the woman in the house and it's very different for me than it's been for him. So I have a lot of different advice than he has for me because his advice is very business-like. My advice is very different. I think that <clears throat> a lot of advice I give women is it's always better to be at peace than it is to be right. Don't fight every battle. It's not worth it. Um, I think it's very important to help other women. I think sometimes women compete with other women and are scared to let other women grow up in the industry, in different industries. Um, it's okay. It's okay to help other women and let them grow up. And it's, it's important that you remember that you're a mother first or that you have family first. And if there's a business owner who doesn't remember that, don't work in that business. You know, you got to help your family and remember that. And I live with a lot of guilt a lot of times. I have five children and I live daily with guilt. Um, and it's, it's okay. You know, you're never going to be the best at everything. And it's, it's okay not to be the best at everything. No. It's not, it's not possible to have it all. And if anybody tells you it is, I don't believe them. I, I don't believe you can have it all. I think you can have a lot. And I think it's okay to have, want to have it all. But I don't believe it's possible to have it all. I think you, you should try and do your best. And I think I'm, I'm very blessed to have five amazing children who really are understanding and amazing. But I don't believe it's possible to have it all. I do believe that you can try, but something's always got to give. 